we are going to learn about protein energy malnutrition. In a simple definition, it is a range of pathological conditions arising from a lack of proteins and calories in a child below 5 years of age. It is most frequently seen in patients with medical conditions that decrease appetite. It can also be seen in malnourished children, especially in developing and underdeveloped countries. The two extreme forms of protein energy malnutrition are Quashiorker and Marasmus. Quashiorker is a disease marked by severe protein malnutrition, although there is reduction in total calories as well. It is frequently seen in children after weaning at about one year of age when their diet mainly consists of carbohydrates. On the other hand, marasmus is a manifestation of severe malnutrition in which diet is deficient in calories but no nutrition is entirely absent. It is usually seen in children younger than one year of age when breast milk is supplemented with watery porridges which are deficient in calories and proteins. Coming to the pathophysiology and clinical picture, in Quashiorker, low levels of protein in blood, that is hypoalbuminemia, disturb the osmotic balance between plasma and interstitial fluid, causing a higher hydrostatic pressure and a lower oncotic pressure. As a result, the fluid leaves the blood vessel and collect in the tissues. This collection of fluid in tissues is called edema, which is the most significant sign of Quashiorker. In addition to that, hypovolemia increases antidiuretic hormone, which cause increased renal water reabsorption, contributing further to edema. Edema begins in dependent regions and proceeds cranially with marked abdominal distension and round face also called moon faces. Low levels of plasma proteins also causes increased synthesis of fatty acid by liver and reduced secretion of lipoproteins. This fat deposition result in enlarged fatty liver which is another important symptom of Quashiorker. Other signs and symptoms of Quashiorker are stunted growth, skin lesions, for example, hyperkeratosis, depigmented hair that fall out easily, anemia, and anorexia. In marasmus, there is extreme muscle wasting due to total calorie deficit, and the general appearance is shrunken and wasted due to loss of subcutaneous fat. While here in Quashiorker, the muscle wasting is masked by edema. Other symptoms of marasmus are arrested growth, anemia, and failure to thrive. The complications of these two extreme forms of protein energy malnutrition are recurrent infections, which are secondary to immunodeficiency, hypoglycemia, hypothermia, and dehydration, which can all be caused by severe malnutrition. Persistence of any of these complications can result in shock and if it stays untreated, death may occur. The management of protein energy malnutrition is divided into three phases, which are resuscitation and stabilization, in which the main goal is rehydration and treatment of ongoing infection that may progress to sepsis and avoid refeeding syndrome by giving nutrition slowly and carefully. The criteria for protein diet is 3 to 4 gram per kilogram body weight per day for Quashiorker and 150 to 200 calories per kilogram body weight per day for Marasmus, starting with initial small doses. This phase usually lasts for approximately one week. The second phase of management is nutritional rehabilitation. After initial resuscitation, when child's appetite begins to return, you can gradually increase the caloric intake. Vaccination 
to prevent further episodes of infection and increased motor activity are the part of nutritional rehabilitation. Then comes the third phase, which is follow-up and prevention of recurrence. Uh, this phase usually lasts for two to six weeks. It is important to follow up the patients to reduce the risk of relapse. Family members, especially mothers, are educated regarding breastfeeding and supplemental feeding. 